Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rechon Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of a great millstone that rule well. Peace and salutation to the hopeful elect. I have pushing his truth and sincerity. The water for which I do. We love you. We appreciate you. The spirit of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, and Shalom. If you're watching this now, you're a so-called black Native American or Latino man or woman. You are a Hebrew Israelite, all right? Because you will not find black, Latino, and Native American nations in the Bible. So you got to find out who you are, all right? And if you're watching this now and you don't look like a so-called black Native American or Latino man or woman, but you feel like this is the truth and that it resonates with your spirit, you know, a lot of you might feel like, you know, you, you actually spiritually attached and more comfortable being around so-called blacks, Native Americans, Latinos, more than your own so-called people, then you could be very well a Hebrew Israelite. It's very possible, all right? Because the lineage goes back to your father, not the color of your skin and not the way that you look. It is your spirit. It is your seed. It is your bloodline. Okay, this lesson, Abarat Design, meaning Father's Will, will be very edifying. And it, it, you might feel like it's bashing women, but you know what? It's not bashing women. It's just setting things in order. All right. Women, be quiet. All right. You need to be quiet. That's how you will keep a lot of peace in your relationships, being humble and being very quiet. The reason why. You get into it with your man is because you think that you can tell him what to do. You believe you're in a position of authority. All right. Now, a lot of you women, you have wicked ass men anyway. So you're ultimately going to end up in a very bad relationship anyways. But for the women out there who have men that are in the truth, just be quiet. All right. For women out there who are watching this now and usually you feel like you know the scriptures and you want to try to call yourself trying to teach somebody or rebuke somebody, just be quiet and don't do so. Just hold your peace, all right? You may only teach younger women, all right? And what you may teach younger women is this. This is Titus chapter two, verse three. It says the aged woman likewise, all right? So the aged woman would be considered the, the women of leadership, the women that are older in, in, uh, in our nation. All right, mothers, grandmothers, aunts, older cousins, you're supposed to be teaching younger women. It says that they be in behavior as becoming holiness, not false accusers, not given too much wine. Why? Because the wine is the knowledge, all right? And you, you're not allowed to, to have too much of it because you're going you're gonna to go off trying to teach and, and you're going to misconstrue the, the, um, the, the doctrine and the delivering of the message. So there's... Only a certain type of power you're actually supposed to get to tell you the truth. In this world, you can read books and uh, learn very, you know, new skills, things that you need in this society because there's no real men anyways. But when you receive this knowledge, now you believe that you're better than a man, which is no, it's off. Now, you might be more capable than a lot of men nowadays to take or take care of uh, certain things um, because this, you know, this world has kind of degraded the man all right, and has put women on a, a higher pedestal, giving y'all better jobs and things like that. You know, leader uh, women uh, are leaders of the household more so in today's society than ever before. Um, not because that you're better, um, not because you're equal, but because the opportunities have been given to you. Um, but you have done a lot of horrible things with your power. You know, like I said in Spider Man, you know, with great power comes great responsibility. You know, you, you women now. You know, you, you've given the power to. Um, kind of walk around so-called comfortable. Well, you take that and you make busted challenges out of that. You take that and you wear thongs around the beach or not even just the beach where little kids are running around playing. You know what I mean? And, you know, you hide that in sub subliminal um, attitudes like, oh, well, it's women empowerment is women's beauty. I want to be comfortable in my own skin. It's not such a big deal. At least I'm not showing my butthole or my pussy hole. You know, but really, it doesn't matter. You're in a thong in front of children, but because you're not showing your butthole, <laughs> it's not, it's considered, uh, you know, natural and you can get away with it. Like, it doesn't, it doesn't make sense. Like, that, those assets are for your man and your man only to see. But now, 
everybody could see it. So it's like really there's no no prize there. You know, it's like no it's a no surprise when you see it, you already seen it already, you know? So <clears throat> that's why it says not giving too much wine, because if you get a certain type of knowledge, knowledge is power, right? You take advantage of that. Right? And that's what women do. All right. The women are giving uh predominant um roles in business and corporations and they take advantage of that power and you know <laughs> lots of turmoil come afterwards you know examples like women in those positions that they shouldn't be in and now all of a sudden when nature plays its part right cuz cuz the most high created us to be men and go after the things that we want which are women when nature plays a part now you get a sexual harassment lawsuit cuz you told a woman that she was pretty I've seen that before. I've seen just a man can say that, oh, you got a nice smile or you have, or you're cute. That's sexual harassment. Like literally a lot of men take it too far. Yes. In the workplace. But I've seen situations where women take uh, face to face have seen situations where a woman will take advantage of her power and try to start a lawsuit because of a man called her. He's a man. He's a man. Of course he's going to do that. You know? But you women feel like, oh, I shouldn't have to deal with that at work. Well, you damn right. Well, then that's why you shouldn't be there. <laughs> but this, uh, this society is, is wicked because you have to be there. Why? Because, you know, you have to have a part. It teaches you to, to be an independent woman when you're not supposed to. You're supposed to be uh, um, dependent on a man. But I will say this. There aren't really that many um, uh, real men in this world. So you women have to go off and get jobs. But then you complain about men being at the jobs that, that are hitting on you. Hey, well, guess what? That's what a man's going to do. All right. Another example. Um, there's, you know, there's, there's a, a woman actually in this state of Connecticut. I, I, I forgot who she, who, what uh, position she plays, but it's a very prominent position. Um, like something with taxes, like or something like that, and of the state. And there, there's a, a young man who owns a, or not a young man, but he is a young man. He owns a liquor stores and stuff like that. And you know, there's a there's a there's a tax on the on a on the bags, plastic bags. It's like a plastic bag tax in the state of Connecticut. And um, I guess he said to a to an elderly woman, you know, just take the bag, you know, up. Don't worry about it. I'll pay for it. And he 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 uh he let her off right. And the woman took her badge out, placed it on the counter, and told her. We're shutting this whole store down. Everyone has to leave. I'm I'm getting you for tax evasion <laughs> because you let that woman, or that elderly woman, go, go off. You know, with, with her items inside her bag, and you didn't let her make her pay for it. Now he's suing her because he did pay for it. Yeah, you know, he put the dime. It's, it's a ten cent uh, tax. He put the dime in the cash register out of his own pocket. I guess the the woman didn't see that. So he's counter suing or he's suing now. But the whole point is she wanted to show her power because she's a female and the women get all in a bit out of shape in their emotions with something so damn small. She wanted to uh, bolster herself in her position. That's what women do when they get a position of power like that. Now, women, women always take it to a, a goddamn step further to the, to, to the extreme where she tried to get that man canceled all because he let an older woman pass on a ten cent bag tax. Uh, that's that makes no sense. But of course, a female would do that, you know. And uh, if there's some men out there that would that do things like that, it's because they're effeminate. They have they play they get played on their emotions, just like certain certain women do. When a when a cool regular cool man would just be like, yeah, all right, whatever. I saw that. I'm gonna act like I didn't see it. It's not that big of a deal, you know. It's bigger fish to fry. So those are just a couple examples, all right, of having uh, not given being given too much wine. Really, it's talking about the knowledge of the scriptures. Because if you give a woman too much knowledge of the scriptures, she's gonna try to use it against you. You know. So it says the aged woman likewise that be that be that they be in a behavior as becometh holiness. Are these women out here holy? They out here shaking their ass. They're making Instagram pages with all their ass hanging out, titties busted challenge, silhouette challenges, and all that shit. Not false accusers, 
um, which they are. Women are definitely false accusers. That's like their number one go to is to uh, to complain about men about how they're not shit. And um, well, uh, well these men aren't shit. But <laughs> but a man that get has more than one woman, she she calls him a dog. When that's very holy, a man's allowed to have more than one woman. That's a, that's a good thing. It's actually good to both the man and the woman because there's such thing as sister wives. All right, you, you know you have more help around the house, but these women are um they're jealous. And they're selfish. They only want what they want. All right. It says not giving too much wine. So not too much knowledge of the scriptures teaches of good things. So here some of the good things. It says that they may teach the young woman to be sober, to, to love their husbands, to love their children. But yet these women are saying they don't you don't need no man. Fuck them kids. That's that's like the, the different jokes that go around. Uh, independent woman. All right. It says to be discreet. Chast keepers of at home, okay, but they're not ch uh, discreet. They're not chast, and they're not keepers at home. They were they're out and about. They're loud as hell, and they are pr very prom promiscuous. Having sex with many different men, they don't stay at home. They're always out and about. It says obedient to their own to their own husbands, but no, these women will rather be obedient to another man. You know that's out there slinging. Uh, bricks or you know he's like a hood gangster nigga rather than the good man that she has at home it says that the word of yahweh be not blasphemed all right so you're not supposed to be out there teaching because they're gonna mess up the the word of the heavenly father and that's that's plain all right women are to be quiet man so this is temp second um it's first timothy's Chapter 2, verse 11, it says, let the woman learn in silence with all subjection. Now, it's funny because, yes, it does say silence, right? Which means be quiet. Yes, it does. But the crazy thing is that, you know, women have a lot of things to say back, right? Oh, but what if it's this and what if it's that? Well, it says here, let the woman be silent, learn in silence with all subjection. That's a heavy word right there. We got to break that down. We can't just pass by that. With all subjection. So it's from the Greek. Hypo, hu, hupotaga. Hu, hupotaga. Hepataga. Right? It says the act of subjection. Obedience. Subject. Subjection. So it'll be obedient. Wow. A lot of you women don't like being obedient. You don't like listening to no man. I ain't listening to no man. I don't need no man. I ain't cooking. I ain't cleaning. That's you women, man. But the scripture said to be obe uh, to obedient, be obedient, man. It says, but I suffer not to a woman to teach. So, yeah, a woman not supposed to be teaching. It says, nor to usurp authority over the man, but to be in silence. You're not supposed to have any power over the man, man. All right. It's just plain and simple. Shut the f shut the hell up and listen to the man. No, don't have nothing back to say. Even if you think he's wrong, don't have shit to say back because you're not in a position to talk back. All right. It says, for Adam was first formed, then Eve. So we came first. That's why. It says, and Adam was not deceived, but the woman being deceived was in transgression. All right? Because a woman um, is easy to manipulate, very gullible. All right? You can pretty much tell a woman anything to spike her, her buying temperature up, which is her emotions. And what's going to happen? What's going to happen is she's going to fall into, um, you know, just believing anything. You know, she's going to fall to... Uh, you know what she did um in the garden of eden which is listen to the serpent and it says notwithstanding she will be she shall be saved in childbearing if they continue in faith and charity and holiness and sobriety so childbearing is where um if you have a man that is um a man of the lord that's the only way you're going to uh be saved is through him so the women can't be saved any other way but through the men of the lord to, to cap it off this is you know Get this last scripture. It says Genesis, Genesis chapter three, verse sixteen. It says, "Until the woman, he said, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow, sorrow and thy conception. In sorrow thou shalt bring forth children." So you know this is Eve in the garden. She was listening to the serpent instead of listening to what the men said, right? Which is not to talk to other men, all right? Whether he's saying hi, all right, hi and bye, that's it. But you're not supposed to be having conversations with men, and that's what she was doing. And she was having a conversation with the serpent because the serpent is a man. All right. The serpent is not a snake. All right. The serpent is a man. Even like today, you call motherfuckers snakes when they when they're or serpent tongue, you know, because they're liars and deceivers. 
That was what the serpent was, all right? It was a man, all right? And it says, um, and she was, and what, and what happened? And he beguiled her and, and, and tricked her into, well, you know, talked her into, you know, she was, she was being, um, gullible and he talked her into going, going off and being wicked and taking a bite of the other fruit that she wasn't the forbidden fruit. Right. Even though the most high himself said not to do it. So there you go. So these women don't even listen to the most high, but they put, but how do you think they're going to listen to us? You know, cause women are wicked, man. It says, so this is why um you 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 have all these labor pains and your 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 births don't go well, you know, you get all sick, you get that the birth sickness and or pregnancy sickness, whatever fuck, and you know, have all these different pains, labor pains, and your 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 birth is excruciating because of this. Alright, it says, And thy desire shall be to thy husband, and he shall rule over thee. So we're supposed to rule over you. So if we tell you shut the hell up, just shut the hell up. And you won't have any problems. So that's it, man. So for that, I want to give all praise and glory and honor to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahshua, 